Hello everyone. Hope you all are well. Today, we are going to discuss register transfer language. Let's see the topics we will cover under this section. Register transfer language. A digital computer system exhibits an interconnection of digital modules such as registers, decoders, arithmetic elements, and control logic. These digital modules are interconnected with some common data and control paths to form a complete digital system. Moreover, digital modules are best defined by the registers and the operations that are performed on the data stored in them. The operations performed on the data stored in the registers are called micro operations. The register transfer language is the symbolic representation of notations used to specify the sequence of micro operations. The register transfer language is the symbolic representation of notations used by and to specify the sequence of micro operations. In a computer system, data transfer takes place between processor registers and memory and between processor registers and input output systems. Following are some commonly used registers. Accumulator. This is the most common register used to store data taken out from the memory. General purpose registers. This is used to store data intermediate results during program execution. It can be assessed via assembly programming. Special purpose registers. Users do not access these registers. These registers are for computer system. MAR, memory address register, are those registers that hold the address for the memory unit. NBR, memory buffer register, shows instruction and data received from the memory and sent from the memory. PC, program counter, points to the next instruction to be executed. IR, instruction register, holds the instruction to be executed. Register transfer. Information transferred from one register to another is designated in symbolic form by means of replacement operator. It denotes the transfer of the data from register R1 into R2. Normally, we want the transfer to occur only in predetermined control conditions. This can be shown by the following if-then statement. If P equals 1, then information from R1 goes to R2. Control function. A control function is a Boolean variable that is equal to 1 or 0. The control function is shown as P. The control condition is terminated with a colon. It shows that the transfer operation can be executed only if P equals 1.